I know this is a carp channel, but this is the biggest fish of Oh yeah, so I had my rods in for about an hour. Charlie, uh, Harry chucks his in. Five minutes, he's into a catfish. It's my target fish of the trip. And we got George with us. Up. Whoop, whoop. Cat in the net. Whoop, whoop. One and a half minus Yeah. As he said, it's not the Chris Carp character, it's Chaz and Chaz, I think they called it. Chaz ain't here. So there we go, Harry's into a second fish of the session. A lovely, pretty, probably eight, nine board. pound Miracar. The dog's getting in the action too. Yeah. Oh, 
So guys, this is the bubblegum oily with the bubblegum wafter that's been snazzed up with their little uh, snazzy things that you get in there. Comes in a lovely pot like that. And I'm just going to re, re jizz it up before I send it out. But it's a cloudy one, so it'll cloud up the... <laughs> Chris is into one. It's just near the bridge when it crashed. Yeah. Let's try and get in the net that way, right? <laughs> you can't get in the net from the bottom, fella. There it is. Got the pole that onto the thing. George, mind out the bay, will ya? Yeah. George. Over here, come on. Just. That's the first ghost I've seen out there as well. Is it? Yeah. Thirteen eight, thirteen seven. Mm -hmm. On peg thirteen, thirteen seven, happy days. Well guys, after Harry had his lovely catfish and his beautiful it was a his mirror carp, I've just had a ghosty weighing in at thirteen pounds seven ounces on my lucky number peg at one one three. And this one was caught on the peanut flavoured oily. You melt the ice behind my song. Just as we're trying to sort my boat out, Harry's into his third fish of the session, guys. He's had one mirror, one cat. Whatever this is, fighting lively. What do you reckon it is, mate? Well done, mate. In the net. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. oh, After a brief fight and potentially losing his third, he's now potentially into his new third fish. We'll see what it is. A mirror, a cat. Let's see what we can land on. But you still act surprised It's not my fault when we end up 
Another fish on the Harry Car uh, Carp Catcher. Number four, the session. The match that ignites the flame. I'm the TNT, but you're the spark to blame. And it's fire burning holes inside my brain. Feel the fire, keep the melters down again. Now it's pouring through my veins. But I said you're the spark to blame. And it's fire burning holes inside. Fish number three. Pretty scale pair, beautiful. Love it. Well in mate. Fish number three. Fully scaled mirror. Nice one. Same bait again, I take it, yeah? Nice. Yeah. That's that spot. Right there. Beautiful linear mirror. Well in mate. Well guys, that's number two for myself. Harry's had four so far. This one's fighting a bit harder than the others. Well guys, number two on the peanuts, so the peanuts now three to one. Come on, bubble gum. What a really, really pretty mirror. Absolutely stunning. I'm reaching out for help, you got me in a red tide. You call me crazy now, but you don't understand. I'm calling out to you. Can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match, getting nice to flame. Well, this video started strong and fast, didn't it? Yeah, we're down here at um, Cloaking Farm. It's my first time here, and Harry's practically lived here for the last sort of month or so. Yeah, he's between jobs. He's about to start a new one, so he's spent a lot of time down here. And, uh, yeah, he's doing really well down here and caught almost a 20 from every single lake. Uh, we're on that runs wall at Elder Lake. Um, there are some beautiful catfish and some beautiful carp in here. The carp go up to 30, the catfish go up to 50. Um, Harry's had three carp and one catfish, and I would love one. That's one of my target fish for this session. Um, it's just my first catfish. I've never caught one before. I'd love to just have that fight and try it out. But, um, I've had two myself. So I've had a ghosty, beautiful, 13, uh, 13 pounds and 7 ounces, and um, a little mirror. Really, really pretty. Uh, I didn't weigh it. It's probably about 8 pounds. And um, yeah, so that's what I've had so far. It's absolutely beautiful down here. Um, I can see people catching all around us. Um, we're here until... Uh, midday tomorrow it's a 24-hour session and uh yeah i'll catch you on the next update hopefully the next update will be a carp Woo -woo. He's into his fifth fish of the evening what do you reckon another carp mate
Another mirror. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, he's quite be the biggest of the evening. Get in there, mate. Well done, man. Well in, mate. Number five. And the biggest of, the, of, his, of his evening so far. Really, really lovely mirrors. They all are in here. After Harry's giant fish, he's actually into what looks like to be a proper monster. Yeah, ma'am. Screaming real. Harry's six of the evening. Looks like he might be in for a bit of a fight like this. Fish number six. We're not sure if it's the biggest carp of the evening, but it should certainly fall like the biggest carp of the evening. And that's your fifth mirror, if I'm not mistaken, right? Harry's sixth. The most hardest fighting uh, carp of the evening. Six fish, one cat, and five mirrors. Well in, mate. First into his third fish. I think it's a cat. That rail. Hmm? That rail. Oh. Probably land next. Possibly, yeah, mate. Yeah. Coming this way. Flip its tail in a minute if it's a cat. <laughs> Seems like a cat. It's on the bubble gum. Finally. <laughs> I've got no control over this whatsoever. I'm trying. Look at the little, just like one more. Look 
been no bird. I've tried to, but it's not nice. This has caught a fucking monster. Yeah. Easily over 30. Yeah. Oh, that's well, they are zeroed. That is 32 pounds and 2 ounces. 32 2. Jesus Christ. That's, that's my biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. I know this is a carp channel. <laughs> I know this is a carp channel, but this is the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. 32 pounds, two ounces. On the bubble gum, finally the bubble gum has paid off. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. <laughs> Can you get um, a couple of points? Good boy, George. He's a beast. Mind out, George. Come on, eat a bum round. Hold out, George! George. Take your bum up. Do you reckon he's alright, yeah, Harry? Yeah, he is. He's fine. recording, yeah? It's a fucking pole. Leave yeah. it alone, George. Are you recording, yeah? Yeah. Are you nice, George? Oh, he's upside down. Are you nice? Good boy. Good boy. Go. Go. Look at the size of it! Look at the size of it! Call him the Megatron, that's his name. The Megatron! <laughs> First ever cat. Yeah. yeah. First ever cat. It's <laughs> a PV, it's never gonna be forever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, the spots that Harry's been catching from, he's in peg 114, he's been catching from just there, and he had the one this morning from there as well, and he's had a couple from just over that cove there, and where I caught my beauty of a catfish is just in front of that bridge, typical spot you'd like to catch from, and over there is where I caught both my cats from, in that little cove just there on peg 113, 13 being my lucky number, which is why I... I also have to go in this peg as opposed to 114, which is Harry's in, but well, it's a lovely peg. <laughs> and funny enough, it's got a BT pole, both me and Harry are using those. those, those little bits. What a session this turned out to be. Harris had six fish, five miracle, but one catfish straight away. That catfish was ridiculous. In fact, actually, both his first two fish were like within about two minutes of uh, him casting both rods in. Uh, and then my fish, I came here. I was after a catfish. I know it's a good car catfish, though, but um, yeah, I was after one catfish. Never caught one before, and it just so happens to be one of the biggest ones in the lake. It had me going mental. I've never ever caught anything like that in my life. I had no control over it for probably 90% of the fight 
Uh, we think we might have actually been fighting it with another angler across the uh, the way from here. He, we think he might have been hooked into his tail. But yeah, we had to go across the bridge, as you would have seen on the video. And yeah, it was proper teamwork. Fair play to Harry. Um, uh, he really did help me out and get that one in. I wouldn't have got that in without him, to be honest. Um, I'll let my arm all get a weak, all right? Yeah. So, yeah, I had that catfish. He's had his six fish. There's three for me, six for him. And uh, we'll see what the night brings, guys. Tight line. My little, tiny little catfish. Harry has caught the beast of the session. Well, then, mate, a roach on a what mil? 40 mil boilie, yeah. was that? Fair play, you little greedy 50 fella. Mil 50 mil boilie. Nice roach, though, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, and Harry's on to his first fish of the morning, seventh of the session. And his trusted spot over there, or on the Isla Island. Well in Harry, fish number seven of the session and his biggest carp so far. We've not weighed it yet. I'll uh, give you an update on the next video of, uh, of the size, idea. but the dog wants to get in on the action as well. Mwah, give it a kiss. <laughs> Beautiful. Harry's fish number eight. That one was right down in the margins, right there. He moved his rod about half hour ago. Paid off. Another mirror. Well, you've just seen me do my last cast of the trip, and uh, like I said last night, it's been a lovely, lovely trip. Nice to get out of Harry again. He's moved away, so we haven't been on the bank as much as we uh, have been together recently. Um, yeah, cool. That amazing catfish. This is my PB fish, if you like. Not my PB carp. That still that still remains jolly. The fish from Eden Vale, but uh, yeah, my PB fish. And I wanted a ca uh, catfish. That's what I said before I got here. I really, really wanted that catfish. And well, what a catfish to get. Thirty-two pound two ounce, and. 
Jeez, that had me going all over the place. It, like I said, took me and Harry to, to, to land that fish. There's no way that I could have caught it on my own. And we do believe that one of the anglers might have actually got uh, hooked into its tail because it just ran me everywhere. I had no control over it for the first sort of 10 minutes of that fight. But yeah, really enjoyable. But what a strange looking fish they are, aren't they? But happy to have caught one. And two really nice scarf at the same time. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the trip. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Tight lines, guys. <coughs> And we're pretty sure Harry's in, well, pretty sure, definitely sure he's into a cut, which has done the same thing as me, he's taken him onto the bridge. We've literally got 15 minutes left to fish here. Let's hope he can land it and we can get off the peg in time. Might be snagged on the corner of this island here. Exactly what the catfish might have to do to me yesterday. 